in this particular lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how we could create nested routes in a single page React application. So even before learning how to create nested routes, you first need to understand what exactly nested routes are. So in the previous lecture, we had created routes, which is for the dashboard and the home or the home page. Now you'll be able to see that these are fairly simple routes and they do not involve any kind of complexity. However, let's say on this particular dashboard or on this particular route, which is forward slash dashboard on this dashboard itself, you again want to create two more pages. Like for example, if you're creating a website wherein you log in users, so if they want to visit their profile page, let's say the link for that is going to be dashboard forward slash profile. And let's suppose if they want to access their settings, they could go to dashboard forward slash settings. So as you can see, these routes, which we are creating here, they are not simple routes, but they are nested routes because we already have one route in front of the other. So the question is how exactly would you create such kind of routes? So in this case, we want to create two routes dashboard forward slash profile and dashboard forward slash settings. So obviously upon visiting these two routes, we want to render two different components as well. So let's first go ahead and let's create those components. So here inside the pages directory, I would go ahead and create a new page. The first page is going to be the profile page. So profile.jsx export default function. That's going to be profile. Make this thing return a div. Let's say this is simply profile and let's create another page here. Let's name it as settings.jsx. So export default function settings. Make this thing return a div which says settings and that's it. Let's keep them simple for now. And let's suppose now I want to go ahead and create a routes for these. Now, if I simply wanted to create routes, I could simply go ahead, go to the app.jsx, create a route like forward slash settings and forward slash profile. But now the thing is, we actually want to create routes, which is forward slash dashboard forward slash profile. So in order to do that, the very first thing which we have to do here is that for this particular path, which is dashboard, we already have a route and we have a self closing tag here. So we first need to change it to a normal opening and a closing tag. And inside this route, we again create a new route for profile as well as settings. So here I'll again create one route inside the other. And this is how nested routes are created. So we already had one route here. And inside this, I have created a second route. Now the path for this thing should simply say profile. And you might have noticed that I've not added a forward slash here as this is a nested route. And the element which we want to render when the user visits this particular route is going to be the profile component. So profile and that's it. And same thing needs to be done with the other route for settings as well. So I'll create another route here. So route, make it self closing. The path is going to be settings and the element is going to be the element which we want to render. So in this case, we want to render the settings page or the settings component and that's it. So watch what happens when I go ahead and visit those routes. So if I go to forward slash dashboard forward slash profile, as you can see, it says this is a dashboard. And if I go to forward slash profile forward slash settings, this still says this is a dashboard. And that's exactly what we want as well. But you might have noticed that we actually get the dashboard page, but under the dashboard page, as this is a nested route, we should be actually getting profile and settings here. But at the moment we are not getting them. And that's because whenever you go ahead and nest one route inside the other route, what happens is when you go ahead and render this particular page, you also have to render what's inside it as well. So as we have nested these two routes inside the dashboard route, we have to include these two routes while rendering the dashboard.jsx as well. So let's go to the dashboard component for that. And over here, we are simply rendering what's inside the dashboard. But inside the dashboard component itself, as you can see, for this dashboard route, we have two more routes, profile and settings. So that means we actually now want to go ahead and sort of render these two routes inside the dashboard itself. And in order to do that, we make use of the outlet component. 
So over here inside the dashboard page, once the dashboard is perfectly rendered, I could now go ahead and I could say outlet and the outlet component actually also belongs to the React Router DOM package. Simply close this and now if I go here, as you can see, now forward slash dashboard forward slash settings actually gives us this result and if I go to forward slash profile, the dashboard page remains the same and this changes to profile. And that's exactly what we wanted as well. Now one more thing which we could do here is that inside the dashboard page itself, we could actually have such links which allow us to visit settings and profile. So in this dashboard component, I could go ahead and create two link tags. You could obviously include them in HTML list tag as well, but I'll go ahead and include them directly for the sake of simplicity. So I'll create a link tag here. This thing is going to be for profile and the other one is going to be for settings. And now let's add links to them. So this should link to profile. Remember that as these are nested routes, you don't have to include a forward slash here. This is going to be for settings. And that's it. Once you go ahead and save this, if you go back here, if I go to profile, it says profile. If you go to settings, it would say settings. And to format things in a better way, it's actually better if you go ahead and create an unordered list here and then have a list item, another one, and then add those respective links to those list items to format this thing in a little bit better way. So if I do that, now hopefully this should work well. So if I go to profile, it would display the dashboard and under the dashboard, it would display the profile page. And if I go to settings, under the dashboard page, it would now display settings. So this is how you could go ahead and create nested routes in a single page React application, wherein you could nest multiple pages inside the already existing page which you have, and you could nest one route inside the other. The only thing which you have to do is, whenever you go ahead and create a route, you have to nest the routes which you want to nest inside those particular routes, like this. And whenever you are actually rendering the main route which you have, or the parent route which you have in the component for that particular parent route, you need to have this particular outlet component, which actually allows us to render the nested pages which we have. So that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn about a dynamic routing in React.